That's right, it's time for one of Z's hot takes. I'm about to talk about Quiet on Set, and I'm about to defend a creep, a creep. Oh my God! That's right, I'm about to give you a fiery take because for some reason I feel the need to justify something that I pointed out before. I reviewed the Quiet on Set uh, documentary about the dark side of children in film or whatever the heck it's called. And I want to point a couple things out. First of all, I don't think kids should act at all. Let's just replace them all with AI models or robots. Either one of those, maybe even dogs. How about any time you want to have a kid on set, you just, no kids, just dogs. And the dogs can play kids. Because children and the entertainment industry clearly don't belong together. We have many examples of that. And... But, but what I really want to talk about is Dan Schneider and Quiet on Set because I've had some hot takes on this. And as I watched the documentary, I'm probably one of the only people out there that was defending this guy. And don't get me wrong, he's a creep and he's kind of a tool. But did he do anything wrong? I don't know about that. And I think there's a hit piece out on him. If you like the investigative journalism that I do here, that's right. Give me a like and subscribe. I know it's a take that not everybody's comfortable with, but I'm here to defend the... Well, he's not defenseless, but I'm here to defend people and free speech and all those other good things. So just hear me out. I'm going to make an argument. Please like and subscribe, but I'm going to make a compelling argument. I promise you. We're going to get there. So there's been some controversy around Quiet on Set, and again... This is not that there aren't bad things going on. Uh, replace them with automatons. I, AI, I don't care. Do something other than what we're doing. Because kids clearly can't handle the fame. They get crushed. They get abused. I don't want to see any of that by anybody. So let's not have it. But what I want to talk about specifically is Dan Schneider is suing Quiet On Set producers over inve investigation discovery limited series for falsely implying that he essayed children's stars, which I agree with. The dude's a jerk, and he might not have been nice to people, and he might be one of those my, uh, uh, megalomaniacal guys in Hollywood who thinks he's greater than everybody, but like the biggest stars have not come out and accused him. And guess what, folks? If you're going to accuse somebody, you better name names at this point because we cannot hide in the shadows anymore. We need to cast sunlight on all this. And if you're just going to say some dude took advantage of you and he was a producer, name names. Let's just do it. Stop stop hiding behind things. Because if the guy did something, let's, let's put him in jail and prove he's guilty because otherwise th there was nothing. Because I watched this show and there was nothing behind the allegations that they were implying. They're implying that this did this dude did all sorts of things, and I don't agree with it. And I think he's going to win. He's going to win against uh, this. Uh, so it was filed in Los Angeles Superior Court on Wednesday. The lawsuit accuses Warner Brothers, Maxine Productions, Sony Productions, producers Mary Robertson and Emma Schwartz. I'm going to bet they settle because they, unless he really wants to go to trial, they're going to settle with him, and they're going to pay him a lot of money because... I don't necessarily think anything was going on. Now, Schneider himself has apologized for his behavior, and he vowed to hold himself accountable when he was a Nickelodeon dude, and he taped a 19-minute interview, which I didn't watch because I don't care. But he did say that watching over the past few nights was very difficult. Me facing my past uh, behaviors, which uh, some of which were embarrassing and I regret, I definitely owe some people a pretty strong apology. But that doesn't just because you're a jerk doesn't mean that you get canceled and that you get accused of things that you probably didn't do. And he says that he wants the series held accountable. If they think there was something wrong with it, they should just cut it out, you know? And look, he's not the one who hired all these people that were the predators on set. So he doesn't necessarily have anything to defend on him and on his own. Uh, he, you know, he says he made poor judgment. He was mean to, okay, he was mean to people. Like, okay, I get it. I understand. But, oh, no, there's no point that, th they did not make any evidence. They might as well have been trying to prove that the moon landing was fake. 
because there was zero evidence and just people who were just like, oh, these people are mean to me. I don't understand. There were horrific crimes that were committed, and those people were in jail. So, and they said there was some weird humor. D don't get me wrong. The dude's a total creep. And he's writing creepy stuff, and he has a creepy sense of humor. And maybe that stuff flew in the past, but and it, it ain't flying now. Um, but on top of all this, the guy who was genuinely abused from this had this to say. This is from Drake Bell's mouth himself. First of all, he commits a crime against fashion as he is dry, he is dressing as a train conductor with his train conductor overall and hat. I don't know what he's doing there, but this is what he had to say. Yeah, I mean, I can only speak to my experience. And, uh, you know, he was one of the few people that was really there for me during this time. And um, so that's that's really all I can speak to. Did he reach out to you after seeing it and thank you for what you said about him? That you were speaking kindly of him, unlike everyone no, else. No, I've no, I've kind of just uh, no, I we're okay. So you get the idea, and this is from the Dear Media Studio. Drake Bell's experience working with Dan Schneider. The only person who defended this guy when stuff was going down was Dan Schneider. No one else came out and said anything. It, it was later that people got held accountable, and they're like, oh, my God, I wish I wouldn't have said that. No, this guy knew what was going on, and, and you know, they figured it out or whatever happened. So if Drake Bell's saying it, I guess I'm going with it. Again, I want to remind you, this dude is a creeper, right? Let's, let's, let's see the evidence. Ariana Grande. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. Yeah, I don't feel very comfortable about that. I'm really not interested in all that. Do you want to watch her squeeze a potato? Yeah, okay. So we get the idea. I feel awkward and uncomfortable having shown you that. So she does like donuts, so she kind of gets what she deserves. And that was public. Uh, no one made her lick a donut publicly. Uh, so anyway, here's the other other component to the the this this show quite on set mark summers who had nothing to do with nickelodeon he had left the show he had left nickelodeon like maybe 10 years before any of this stuff was going on he had nothing to do with the show and they showed him all the weird stuff and he's like i mean the, these are his words they ambushed me they never told me what this documentary was really about and they showed me a video of something i couldn't believe was on nickelodeon and I said, well, let's stop the tape right there. What are we doing? So he says he he got up, he left, and he got on a phone to say they're he's, he, he wanted to be totally out of the show. He thought it was unethical what they were saying and what they were doing. He had no connection to it. He was on yeah, His show, Double Dare, had ended before Schneider even arrived at the network. So he had nothing to do with it. But they were trying to use his reaction to validate their conclusions so to wrap all this up with a bow i don't want to see anybody sticking their feet in their mouth and i don't want to see jamie lynn spears get shot in the face with some goop uh and as inappropriate as the dude was i feel like he was dealt with he lost a lot of money and he is not producing shows the way he was and all that other stuff he was financially had problems i don't see any crimes committed here if there's a crime committed please do something about it but I don't see any evidence. And that documentary did not do a good job. And the fifth episode, which I talk about, and I have a, a review of that here, was completely exploitation of the people that were in it. So shame on you, documentary. Shame on you. And you're going to go to court, and you're going to end up paying. You're going to pay. Anything that you made from this, this, this video is going to go out the door. So I just... You got to do things within the, the justice system. You have to do it legally. You can't just make up stuff, especially when your argument is so thin. It was just a poorly put together documentary, and they did a bad job. And I hate to say I'm defending this guy, but guilty until proven innocent. I hate to say it, but thank you for listening to my arguments. I'm not, uh, I am a, wait, am I a lawyer? I'm a lawyer, but I went to a, mo I'm not a lawyer, but I stayed at a Motel 6 which we are not affiliated with. <laughs> anyway, catch our full-length audio podcast 
That is on Friday nights. Uh, well, first of all, you can catch it on iTunes, but we live stream it here on YouTube Friday nights, 7.30 p.m. We also do it on Rumble. You can come hang out on Rumble with us as well. We do a lot of good stuff. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to me rant. I do appreciate it. I hope you guys, please leave me your comments down below. I will argue with you if you like, but I think I made a pretty solid point here. Guys, creep should be condemned, but that does not mean, unless you have proof of him doing something wrong and going to jail, I, I this just, just doesn't sit well with me. So, thanks for listening. I appreciate it, but I am on to the next one.